We're the Master Brothers, and we're going to figure out whether it's actually worth switching to Octopus Agile or Octopus Go, whether you have an electric vehicle or not. Five minutes later. I think we definitely made an error going with <laughs> But at least we know now. So the way that we're going to do this is firstly by looking at the average electricity consumption in the UK, and then we're actually going to look at our own personal electricity consumption based on the fact that we have an EV and we've been on Octopus Agile as well for a few months now. So firstly, what are Octopus Agile and Go? So Octopus Agile is a variable electricity tariff that changes every half an hour, so it's really variable. Sometimes the prices will even go negative, which means that you'll get paid to use electricity. Yeah, it's super rare though. Mm. And then you have Go, which between the hours of 12.30 a.m. and 4.30 a.m., so you have a four hour window, the price goes down to 5p per kilowatt hour. And then during the rest of the day, you're fixed between 12 and 15p per kilowatt hour, depending on your region. Now, a couple of important points to note before we get into the analysis. If you do decide to switch to either of these tariffs, you will need a smart meter. So either a SMETS 2 or a SMETS 1 secure smart meter. But if you do switch, then Octopus Energy will install this for free. So yeah, nothing to worry about really. And if you do decide to switch, use our link in the description and you'll get 50 pounds off your bill. Yeah, and they use 100% renewable energy. So doing a little bit for the planet too. All right, now for the analysis, we're gonna compare the Agile, Go, and UK average standard tariff to figure out which one's the cheapest. First, we're gonna look at how much each of these tariffs would cost with the average electricity consumption. So just for your average user. And as we can see here, at around 4 a.m., there's a really big dip in electricity consumption. And then it comes up around when the day starts, stays pretty level, then picks up in the evening and stays pretty high until about 10 p.m. When we overlay the Octopus Agile average prices, you can see that there's a really sharp increase in the rate around when the average consumption begins to increase. Yeah, so if you want to save money with Octopus Agile, you can quite clearly see that you'll need to shift your usage as much as possible outside of these peak pricing times. Now with the pink line, Octopus Go, you can see that you're really doing well during those peak times because the rate just stays flat during the day. And if you can switch your heavy usage like dishwasher or a laundry machine to the lower price periods overnight, then you'll be doing really well, I think. Now, even when we add in the UK average standard tariff, Octopus Go is still looking really competitive on the daytime rates. And plus it's got those cheaper evening prices. So it's looking pretty strong. Now this graph does not take into consideration the daily standing charge. So in order to properly compare these different tariffs, we'll need to consider the actual cost of consumption combined with the daily standing charge. Now, if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It'll really help us as we continue to grow our channel. Now let's get back into the analysis. This graph shows the daily cost of electricity based on your average London household, which shouldn't be too different from the UK given that it's based off of thousands of households over three years. Yeah, like over 160 million rows of data we've summarized for this. And you can find out more information about the data sets in the description if you'd like to. Now, the first line, the green line, is the daily cost for the average UK standard tariff, which is at 14.4p per kilowatt hour and a standing charge of 20.58p. And that data is according to ukpower.co.uk. So the average daily cost ends up being about £1.67 based on that average usage. The pink line is the average daily cost with Octopus Go. So that's 14p on average per kilowatt hour during the day. And then between 12.30am and 4.30am, you get that 5p per kilowatt hour. And then you have the standing charge of 25p. And that brings the daily cost to around £1.58. Yeah, so quite a lot cheaper than your average UK standard tariff. And these two lines are straight because the average consumption is the same every day because it's just the average. So if your consumption is the same every day at the same times, then your cost will be the same every day. So that's why both of these lines are straight. Looking at the Agile price now with a standing charge of 21p per day, you can see that the price does vary quite a bit, but in general, it does tend to be quite high. Yeah, and that overall high looking price does carry through to the average, which ends up being £1.72 per day. 
So yeah, it's more expensive than both the average UK standard tariff and definitely more expensive than Octopus Go. And the way that we calculated this was by comparing each half hour of consumption to the price at that half an hour time slot. So yeah, it, it is a, a fair comparison. Now if we extrapolate those costs over the course of a year, it'll be about £630 for Agile, £610 for UK average standard tariff, and about £580 for Octopus Go. Yeah, so Go does seem like a really good option. These numbers are for average users though, so it will vary based on your location and your own personal electricity consumption. Another important thing to consider for a lot of people is how much it's gonna cost you to charge your electric car. Yeah, so we couldn't find a UK data set on electric car charging at home, so we decided to use our own electricity consumption over the last six months. Now for some context, we got our Tesla back in December 2020, so we've had it for about four or five months now. So we've got four or five months of charging data and you'll be able to see that in our electricity consumption. We also tried to shift our electricity usage to the optimal agile time. So whenever the electricity was cheapest, that's when we'd start our dishwasher and our washing machine, anything like that, just to save as much money as we could. So first, let's take a look at how much it would have cost if we were on the UK average standard tariff. Since this tariff is fixed at all times, you can see that our consumption went up massively when we got the Tesla in early December. As a result, our average daily cost was £4.32, which would be around about £1,577 per year. We use a lot of electricity. <laughs> yeah, but crazy. it's all renewable, so it's okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Conscience <laughs> is clear. <laughs> Now looking at Agile, you can tell that in general, our daily cost was lower than it would have been if we were on the standard tariff. And that's pretty much because we were optimizing our usage for those cheaper Agile times. So overall, our average daily cost was £3.95. And over the course of the year, that would be £1,442. So not cheap, but a bit cheaper than the uh, average standard UK prices. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. But now, for Octopus Go. I mean, look at that. It managed to stay below both Agile and the UK Standard Tariff, even when we are optimizing our usage for Agile. Yeah, it's, that is crazy. It's almost a bit annoying because we did spend quite a bit of time just looking back and like trying to really optimize for Agile, but in the end, Go was the way to go. Yeah, and like with Octopus Agile, you're constantly having to look at the prices to mm. see when is the best time to do it. Oh, when should I start the washing machine? Oh, now I have to calculate the time between these two times, like every single day. Yeah. Whereas with Go, you know it's at 12.30, so you can, it's just like, it's just easier. And Octopus Go has just ended up being so much cheaper. So what is it, like £3.68 per day? Yeah, I think they just hooked us in with that idea of negative rates, but that's only happened like twice in six months, so. Mm. Yeah, don't go with Agile thinking that you'll get paid to use electricity because it just doesn't happen that often and even the low rates don't offset the peaks in the rates that you get. Yeah. And like, you're also having to constantly think about when you're using electricity and for a lot of people that doesn't work. Like, a lot of the time, especially for us, you have to use electricity during those peak times. You can't just not use as much electricity during then. So yeah, basically to sum it all up, Octopus Go is a great option to go for whether or not you have an electric vehicle. Yeah, and if you do, you can really take advantage of that 12.30 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. cheaper rates. So for any consumption habit, goes the way to go. So remember, if you want to switch to Octopus Energy, use the link in our description for 50 pounds off your bill. That's about how many days of free electricity? <laughs> 30 days. No. With UK average consumption. Maybe. We use way too much. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And that's all from the Master Brothers. We'll catch you on the... Sorry, I, d I felt like that wasn't right. Okay. Yeah. Don't say if you enjoyed the video. Oh, okay, maybe yeah. 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 If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. But for now, that's all from the Master Brothers. We'll catch you on the flippity foot. It was too... It's way too quick. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps build the channel. But for now, that's all from the Master Brothers. We'll, we'll catch, catch you on the flippity, flippity foot. foot. That was awful, I think. Let's just do it again.